Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is figure out what the limit is as x approaches 0 of x minus inverse tangent of x divided by x cubed. Now we can't just let x be equal to 0 as we would have a limit of the form 0 over 0. So in order to evaluate this limit right here, what we're going to have to do is use something called the L'Hopital rule. The L'Hopital rule basically says that if we have a limit as x approaches c of a function f of x divided by another function g of x, this is equal to the limit is x approaches c of the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x, given that f and g are both differentiable at c and that the limits of indeterminate form 0 over 0 are plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity. These conditions are satisfied for a limit right here, so let's go ahead and apply a Hopital rule to it to see if we can try to solve it. So we're going to have the limit is x approaches 0 of, so the derivative of the numerator is just 1 minus, 1 over x squared plus 1 and the derivative of the denominator is just 3x squared. We can simplify the numerator by cross multiplying, doing so gives us the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared plus 1 minus 1 divided by x squared plus 1 and this is all divided by 3x squared. Now if we multiply the numerator and the denominator by x squared plus 1 we're left with the limit as x approaches 0 of x squared divided by 3x squared multiplied by x squared plus 1. Now notice in the numerator we have a factor of x squared and we also have a factor of x squared in the denominator so we can cancel those two and we're left with the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over 3 multiplied by x squared plus 1. At this point what we can go ahead and do is just plug in x is equal to 0. Doing so we have 1 over 3 multiplied by 0 plus 1 and this is just equal to 1 over 3, which is the final answer to this problem. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this content useful, please make sure to like and subscribe and follow for more. I hope you have a great day.